Netlinked? <sighs> I used to host Netlinked. Then I took an arrow in the knee. But, but you, you're hosting Netlink right now. Uh... <laughs> The saga of Reddit Apocalypse continues. Current CEO Steve Huffman has announced he'll host an Ask Me Anything session tomorrow detailing upcoming changes to the site's content policy. Former CEO Yishan Wang has now spoken out, however, saying that after the AMA tomorrow, Reddit will be purged of subreddits that promote hate. Despite all of the hate leveled at her, it looks like Ellen Pao was actually holding back something like this from happening against the wishes of the board. She also was not responsible for firing Victoria Taylor. That was straight from Reddit co-founder Alexis O'Hare opinion, who let Pow take the blame from the community. As one Redditor noted, so Ellen Pow was Severus Snape all along. Possibly. We'll know more when Huffman hosts his AMA tomorrow at 1pm Pacific. AMD's Fury GPUs feature new high bandwidth memory, and if you're confused about what it's all about, click here to learn from Linus, but it's the first gen tech, which means it's limited to 4 gigabytes. HBM Gen 2 will not have this limit, and Nvidia plans to use it in their upcoming Pascal GPUs. However, now reports have surfaced claiming AMD has been given priority access to HBM2 from manufacturer SK Hynix because of the large role they played in the seven-year development process for the technology. So we could be seeing AMD get a much-needed boost from getting the first HBM2 HBM2 graphics cards into the market. Insert joke about the GPU wars or something, I make pretty much the same one every time. Google is one-upping Apple's iBeacons with the announcement of Eddystone, an open-source cross-platform standard for low-energy Bluetooth beacons. iBeacons have been around for two years now and can send information about a specific location to a smart device when it gets in range, but they only work with Apple devices. Eddystone, named after the famous UK lighthouse, because get it, it's a beacon, will work with any mobile device and will allow a beacon-equipped bus stop to send out transit times, stores to send promotions, and very lonely people to send their phone number. They just want a text from anyone. Please. Uh, maybe it's uh, some, of the, some of the quick bits. MKBHD has been apparently allowed to post a review of the OnePlus 2's camera, but only the camera. He says it's pretty good, right up there with the LG G4 and Galaxy S6. OnePlus better watch out though, because ZTE just jumped into the inexpensive flagship market with the $450 Axon, featuring some pretty impressive specs for the price. The Remix Mini is an Android PC on Kickstarter that starts at $20, say what? That's pretty cool. And Commodore, yes, the company that made the Commodore 64, has announced the Pet Phone, which will include two emulators for playing super retro games. Okay. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Thuis. Sweet. Swee. Swiss. Is it saying Swiss with a lisp? Swiss. Wouldn't you know it, a certain unnamed shopping site had some sort of giant sale today. Turns out it was super disappointing or something. Not that I would know. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. If you don't want to be disappointed, check out NCIX's sizzling summer sales sale event. If only for the alliteration in that title, good gravy. The featured Canadian deal is an LG 65 inch 4K 240Hz IPS LED TV for $25.99. That's... A lot of money, but it's 700 bucks off and you get 100,000 extra NCIX reward points. The American deal is a SanDisk Ultra Plus 128 gig SSD for $49.99, that's 30 bucks off. This week there's also two times reward points on pretty much everything in the sale, so click here or the link in the description for all of this week's deals. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Yeah! Ugh, see? This is the last time! Ah!